Hey, it's Cosmo Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to share a tool, uh, honestly, that I just learned about today, which is a little embarrassing because I, I sort of pride myself on knowing everything there's to know about, you know, like all the things that Google makes available, and then all of a sudden something lands on my desk, and it's like, wow, I should have known about that. This one comes uh, from a member of my staff, actually, Colin. So shout out to Colin uh, for keeping me honest, and uh, it's it's a, a pretty cool tool. It's Google's mobile usability test. So uh, search.google.com forward slash test. Uh, forward slash mobile dash friendly and I'll drop this link into the description but uh, what's nifty about it is you drop your URL in here and then you ask Google to test the URL it takes a couple of seconds to load so I just preloaded it for this video um, but Google gives you it's it's binary or it appears to be so I use my site as an example and then Google says page is mobile friendly and then it offers a little bit more context as to what Google deems to be mobile friendly now even if you think you have a mobile friendly site or responsive site, my strong recommendation is to always go through Google's testing. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is because I feel like it just stands to reason that Google's calculation of things like quality score, relevance, ad rank, um, everything that they're putting into whether or not you show up, how much you pay, how you rank against competitors, all that's based off of uh, their internal um, tool sets. And, and, and it, it stands to reason that the calculation they're using on you know, one hand would be the exact same calculation they're using elsewhere. As a matter of fact, I, I would be shocked if it were the opposite. So anytime Google, to, Google gives you a, a tool to use, um, I would begin relying on that, even if you don't agree with um, their methodology. So the best example I have of that is, is Google's PageSpeed Insights. Um, I know that web developers hate Google's PageSpeed Insights and they, you know, scream until they're blue in the face talking about how it's not fair and it doesn't take into consideration latent loading and that's not actually, not actually the speed that a user experiences because Google's, you know, measuring the entire load time, whatever. All but stuff that I barely understand. The problem is, is that's what Google is using to rank your, your, your relevance. So we want to make sure that you know, we're, we're, we're playing inside of their ecosystem, so we want to play by their report card. So hop in, uh, check out what Google has to say about your mobile usability, and then notice, this is actually kind of easy to miss, but over here it says page loading issues. And I'm like, that's interesting. So when I view details, it gives me a bunch of stuff that I just need to look into. And some of these are issues, like I noticed that some of the Cloudflare proxy uh, uh, resources aren't loading, which kind of makes sense to me. But still, there are some things here, like our live chat uh, 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 JavaScript is throwing an error for whatever reason. These are things that I can lob at my web dev and just be like, hey, dude, Google thinks that we have some problems here. And um, this is, I promise you, the type of thing, and I can tell you this from uh, my, my, my marketing career, if you all don't know, started in the world of SEO. And what you learn about Google when you're doing SEO is they pay attention to everything. Like uh, Facebook, Bing, some of these other networks, it's a lot of wiggle room, but Google just seems to be very diligent. You know, think of them as sort of like the, the nerd in the lab coat with their checklist, and there's just nothing you're going to do to get past them. Now, are some things worth more than others? Yes, absolutely. But with Google, you are, you're, always, you're always incentivized to check the boxes, to follow the rules. Um, you know, in as much as you can do that while still maintaining compliance with proper strategy, because sometimes Google's rules are counter to proper strategy, in which case you have to figure out like what the, what the workaround is, and we've taught you some of those too. So anyway, kind of cool tool, definitely worth digging into. I uh, hope this was helpful. Thumbs up if you liked the video, comments if you have questions, subscribe if you want to see one every day. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.